It's not the Batarang, it's the Subsonic Neo Wireless Bluetooth PlayStation 3 controller with vibration. But doesn't the Batarang do all of that and allow you to decapitate bad guys at the same time? Yeah, but only Batman has it. This is available for the rest of us and makes an acceptable second controller for your PlayStation 3. Especially if you prefer the Xbox 360 controller because this is a larger, heavier controller than the Sony offerings. And if you shop right, it also costs less. It's a very attractive controller until you start playing games with it and get your fingerprints all over it because of the glossy finish. All controllers should be required by law to have a textured surface. Note that, like the OnLive controller, you can control video playback directly from the buttons on top of the controller. Not a huge selling point, but if you prefer concave thumbsticks, the Subsonic Neo has those, like the Xbox 360 controller. The standard PlayStation 3 controllers have convex thumbsticks. The Neo's D-pad is textured and larger than the standard PlayStation 3 controller D-pad, which may take some time to get used to if you have giant thumbs. You may really appreciate this. The Neo does have a nice rubberized surface on the back of the controller, which feels really cool. I kind of wish they put that on the front as well, because it looks cool with the black and the chrome until it's fingerprinted. Here's the Neo next to the standard PlayStation 3 6-axis controller. There is no 6-axis support with the Neo, but it does vibrate. It has all the buttons that you need, but the buttons aren't as responsive as those on Sony's own controller. I used the Neo for part of my Dirt 3 review and LA Noir review. It has concave triggers which feel nice when you're driving, but they're more pressure sensitive than squeeze sensitive. It's easy to hook up and has an internal battery that you charge the same way that you charge the standard PlayStation 3 controller. In conclusion, it makes a good second controller alternative because the Sony controllers are outrageously expensive and this one is wireless without having to use any USB dongles, it's Bluetooth. It feels substantial, if you can find it for less than the standard PlayStation 3 controllers, check out the Subsonic Neo.